Ammonia is one of the most abundant chemicals produced on an industrial scale, with almost 80% of worldwide production being used in plant fertilizers that help grow the world's food crops. Nitrogen is an important nutrient for plants, which they need to make proteins and other biologically important molecules. But plants cannot directly utilize atmospheric nitrogen, whose triply bonded diatomic molecules make it a relatively unreactive inert gas. However, ammonia, its salts such as ammonium nitrate and derivatives such as urea, are highly soluble in water, so readily absorbed through plants' roots when added to the soil. The task of the industrial chemist then is to find the best method for converting atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. This is done via the Haber process, in which a pressurized mixture of the gases hydrogen and nitrogen is heated and passed over an iron catalyst, reacting to form ammonia, which is then cooled to form liquid ammonia. In choosing the conditions under which the reaction takes place, a number of competing factors must be taken into account in order to maximize the yield of ammonia and minimize the cost of production. The formation of ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen is a reversible reaction, being exothermic in the forward direction. According to Le Chatelier's principle, high pressures shift the equilibrium to the right, so improve the yield of ammonia as there are only two molecules of ammonia gas produced for every four reactant gas molecules. On the other hand, high temperatures favour the back reaction, which is endothermic, so decrease the equilibrium yield of ammonia. There is a conflict here with a relatively high temperature required for reactant molecules to have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the significant activation energy barrier for a reaction to take place. This conflict can be overcome, in part, by the use of a catalyst to overcome the activation energy. Reactant molecules are adsorbed onto the surface of the catalyst, making it easier to break the bonds in hydrogen molecules and nitrogen molecules respectively, so that atoms of hydrogen can bond with nitrogen atoms to form molecules of ammonia. The ammonia produced, which has a much lower boiling point than the other two gases, is cooled and condenses out as liquid ammonia, while any unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen gas is recycled back into the system, along with excess heat generated by the exothermic formation of ammonia. Fritz Haber won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his efforts, but if you think he was clever, consider the humble rhizobium bacteria, which are found in the root nodules of legumes and contain an enzyme that can convert or fix atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia at much lower temperatures and pressures. Now why doesn't someone nominate them for a Nobel Prize?